All right, it's Sunday, September 6, 2020. It's 104 right now. It's 1.30 p.m. Hot day. It's going to get up to 108. Um, so I put the felt back in, the original felt. I think this is anti-squeak felt. So uh, this piece is still original to the seat. I did not take that out. I took this felt out because there was a soft trim broadcast sheet in here. So I wanted to get all this felt out of here. And uh, so I found out after some research last night that these seats were originally out of a 67 GTO with blue interior. So that's what these seats are out of, 67 GTO. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and cover this with, uh, put the panel in and cover it with, um, I always forget, burlap. I don't know if I was recording or not. Maybe I wasn't. Um, <laughs> September, Sunday, September 6th. So the date, possibly a date on this material. A UAF. I think that looks like a UAF 217. I think it may be 87. Uh, there's a date over here. Two seventeen. Could be eighty seven. Another date up here. Let's see what this looks like. It could be I don't know. I don't know what that is. Hard to say. Hard to say. So, um, so I've got the burlap on. Um, I've got a layer of cotton, and I added uh, muslin to the foam. I added it to the bottom this time instead of the sides. And got the original felt, anti-squeak felt. And uh, fingers crossed this will go smooth. Um, it's 210. It's about 105 degrees out. And it's getting hot. And by about 3, 3.30 it's going to be crispy in here, so I want to get this done. So I'll flip the seat over once I get the upholstery on. It's Sunday, September 6, 2020. It's about 4.10, 4 o'clock, 5 minutes to 4. On Sunday, September 6, 2020. So I got the passenger bottom done and I really like the way this one came out Look, looks really nice um, it looks better than the driver's side <laughs> I wish this was the driver's side but it looks really nice um, So I'm going to, let's see, let me flip it over and we'll do a tour of the bottom side. So the, this one went together relatively smoothly. 
kind of, I don't want to say knew what I was doing, but have experience putting the other one together. So um, I've got the panel with the rods in new burlap. Um, this one has the original jute any squeak for the springs. Um, this one has cotton. So there's a layer of cotton underneath the foam. Uh, it's original sea cotton, original GM cotton. So this one went together really nicely. So hopefully the material will hold out. There's no reason why it shouldn't. This car gets driven once a year. <laughs> so, so should hold up. Okay, I'm gonna put the seat back on and get this thing back together. So it's Sunday, September 6, 2020. It's 4:25. I don't know what, it's probably 108 degrees outside. So the seat is done. Um, it's all back together. It came out really, really, really good. Um, except it's... a little off over there. But. I won't tell anybody. Um, oh, I need to put my bumpers on there. My bumpers aren't on there. My bumpers for the back here. So it came out really nice. Um, I'm really, really, really pleased. Congratulations. Job well done. Did it in one day. Uh, Took it apart. Um, when did I take it apart? Did I take it apart Friday? No. I took it apart yesterday. Took it out yesterday. Took it apart yesterday. Um, created those panels last night and then put it back together today. So. So, uh, ready to go. It should be really, really comfortable to sit in with new foam. So next is paint the little panel things. And then um, put the seats back in and that's it. I can see how comfortable it's going to be to sit in now. It should be much more comfortable. Anyway, congratulations. It's a Monday, September 7th, 2020, it's Labor Day. Uh, so I got the, all the seat trim painted. Uh, I painted it uh, Sam Landau Black. Pretty good stuff. I've had pretty good luck with it. I think that's what I painted the console with. Uh, I elected not to use the gun. I do have a pint of this stuff. Um, probably more than enough to do these, all these panels. The seat backs, you know, um, gonna have to see how that dries. I don't know. It looks streaky. It's streaky right now. Just gonna have to see how it dries. Color's perfect. I like the color a lot. But uh, we'll have to see on the. These are fine. 
I'm not worried about these. It's these. I'll just, I guess I'll let them dry for a couple hours and, and see how they dry out. I'm not, I don't want to break out the gun, but I will if I have to, if I don't like this. Tiger stripes. <laughs> um, you know, when these are in the car, you don't see that. But you, if you bring the seat back, you're going to see the tiger stripes for sure. So I don't know. We'll see. Got everything here. I could break out the gun and just get it over with and call it a day. It's probably what I should do instead of dicking around. So it's Monday, September 6th. Nope. Monday, September 7th. 2020. It's Labor Day. It's about 4 o'clock. So I got all my seat trim painted. Um, Landau Black. Sam Landau Black. So I attempted to paint these seat backs with a can and it just it was too streaky. It looked like zebra stripes. So I broke out the paint gun and hit the hit these big panels with the gun. These were fine with the rattle can. And these are only one coat. I just went over these with one coat and it came out really good. So. Um, so I'm good to go. I just need to get new hardware for the attachment screws. I think I'm going to go with these pan head number eight. By inch and a quarter. This is what he had. He had these pan head. I don't think are right. I think the length is right. But I don't think they're pan head because if you look at the look at the holes. The holes are made for an oval head screw, like that. Now the head may have been a little smaller. They make uh, GM had a little bit smaller head screw. Which I have a couple of them. I don't know if, and they were in the driver's seat. The rest of the seat had a mix of these types of screws and a couple of a couple of these screws. So I need the longer the longer screws for the button for the passenger side, and um, so I need four four packs of these. But uh, these came out really nice. Ready to go back together. I just need to put the the um, chrome trim back on them, and they'll be ready to go. I'll do that tomorrow. I don't. I don't want to rush it and do it today. This is dry now. I could actually do it, but I'll do it tomorrow. The seat is ready to go back in. And that's it. So it's Monday, September 8th, 2020. And I'm going to put the panels back on the seats. Um, came out really, really 
stayed nice. I'm really, really happy with the paint and everything. So, um, one thing I did do and I'm going to do is I'm going to use these number eight pan head or excuse me oval head screws these are these guys I think I think GM used a an oval head he had pan head like this And I don't think that's correct. So I went to Home Depot last night and I got these oval head inch and a quarter number eight screws. So I'm going to try those and I'll take another video after I get the panels back on. So it's, um, Monday, September, no, it's actually Tuesday, September 8th, 2020. I'm on leave this week, and the passenger seat is done. Um, it came out really nice. I got the panels back on. It looks a million times better than it did when I first put the car together. So I'm really happy with it. Panels came out really nice. Everything is polished and ready to go back in the car. So I'm going to start working on the, um, the seat belt covers. Probably paint those because they're not going to match. Everything's going to look all renewed and the seat belts are going to look old and worn and tattered. So I'm going to do those. So here's the seat from the back side. So it looks a thousand percent better with that panel painted. Look pretty worn out. It just looks, I mean, it just looks fantastic. What more can I say? It's really gonna look sharp when it's in the car. I mean, I really can't wait to get it in the car. It looks so good. It's uh, Tuesday, September 8th, 2020, and I got the passenger, oops, driver's seat done. Uh, I got the panels on. It looks wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. And the back looks wonderful. It's like a brand new seat. So I'm going to look at that thing. That thing is wondrous. Looks wondrous sitting over there. It doesn't look like it's in my out of my Chevelle, but it is. 
Okay, so I'm going to put this seed in and call it a day. So let me take a quick look. Passenger seat is sitting in the car. It's not bolted down, but it looks wondrous as well. And I'm going to get the um, seat belt. Get the seat belt thingies painted up tomorrow. Actually, I should come out here tonight and do it so that they're dry for tomorrow and get those things put in. That's an idea. So that's what I'll do. So I'm gonna put this guy in the car and then go in and eat. It's Wednesday, September 9th, 2020. And the seat rebuild refoam project is done. The seats are back in, bolted down. And I got the seat belt covers restored. I got the sill plate moldings polished. Tracks polished, <laughs> carpet vacuumed, uh, I'm going to turn the light on and get in.